us for a story that defines the phrase, a sense of adventure. A young lady from Flintshire plans to become the first woman to paraglide off Mount Everest. Yes, Louise Faulkner, known as Squash to her family and friends, is at base camp right now. And uh, as if the jump wasn't daring enough, there's a small matter of climbing the world's highest mountain first. Well, she spoke to our reporter Jane Solomons this afternoon from her Everest base. Her second home is Bronnington in Flintshire, but Squash Falconer's happiest climbing peaks. In 2009, she tackled Mont Blanc in the Alps, just four years after climbing her very first mountain. It's so nice to be at the top. Reaching the summit wasn't enough. She launched herself from the top. And now she's ready to do the same from the roof of the world. I decided, well, if I can fly from the summit of one mountain, then maybe I can fly from the summit of another. So I decided that while I was going to give over rest to go, I might as well bring my paraglider because if the conditions were right and it would be an amazing thing to do. I'm actually feeling really good. We're back down at base camp now. And because we've been on the trip for almost um, six weeks now, I, I've got quite acclimatised. So in theory, we could leave for the summit any time after Saturday. As if climbing Everest were not a challenge enough, then there's the attempt to be the first woman to paraglide from the top. Every night when I go to sleep, I'm thinking about climbing to the summit and I'm thinking about how it will be to set, set the wing up and to actually take off. But I think I, I just have to focus on what I'm doing and get on with it. But do friends and family in Wales think she's just a little bit mad? Sometimes I ask myself why I keep doing these things, but I just think that, you know, when... I met somebody recently who said to me, oh, I saw your video of you flying off Mont Blanc and it inspired me to start paragliding. And it, and it was amazing to hear that and it, it makes it all really worthwhile. Fingers crossed for a happy landing. Jane Solomons, Wales Tonight. Quite a woman. Yeah, we'll let you know how she gets on.